Hello everybody, it's Amanda. Today I'm going to make a cute project using the Coffee Cafe Suite. This is new to me, I've only just got this in the last few days, although it has been available in the annual catalogue since last June. <laughs> I've only just chosen it. I've been having a bit of a look through and making sure that I've got all of the um, annual things that I really, really want and started working my way through my wish list before the catalogue changes in June. So this is from the Coffee Break Suite, which is amazing. I absolutely love it. I don't know why I didn't buy it sooner, if I'm honest, and I've had great fun with it. So it's in the annual catalogue on pages 30 to 31. We have a stamp set and coordinating thinlets, we've got the DSP uh, designer series paper, we've got coordinating ribbons, all sorts of lovely th fun things. And today I've got my inspiration direct from the catalogue and this lovely coffee cup that's been decorated here. So I'm going to create a coffee cup treat um, project. So I'll just move these to one side. And I'll show you what I'm using. Now I've purchased these locally. They're little, just little coffee cups. And I got a pack of 10 <laughs> for a pound. So they're working out at 10 pence each. Each really not a lot, is it, for a, a little treat. And I'm going to be using these on stage. And inside each one I'm going to put a little biscuit and a little sachet of coffee. Again, I bought these in my local pound shop and you get 10 sachets of these for a pound and 18 of these for a pound. So you can make an awful lot of treats for not a lot of money. And so I'm just going to pop the little treats inside and that will just fold in half um, like so. Uh, I, I am going to make some other little treats to go inside and maybe add a few little sweets. We shall see. I want that to the back there. It does have a seam. I want that seam to the back. Oh, I've got two lids on. <laughs> I wondered why it wasn't shutting right. So I want the seam to the back and the little coffee cup hole to the back as well, like so. So let's get started. I'll quickly show you my sample. This is the one that I, uh, my original. So I'm going to create something similar, but it will be slightly different because I never make two things the same. So I'm starting with a sheet of Whisper White and I've cut this the full length of a 12 by 12. Um, just to make it easier to fit around the cup without having to shape it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp a lovely background on there and I'm going to use Early Espresso, Old Olive and Crumb Cake. And I'm going to use the Coffee Bean. So I'll just get that stamp out. Put that to one side and I'll just mount that on there. Uh, and I'm just going to stamp a very well, as random pattern as I can. I'm not terribly good at random. I always want to do things very symmetrical, so I'll do my best. Um, and I'm just changing direction as I go. Um, and this is just purely for decoration, so it doesn't have to be, you know, um, prize winning perfect. <laughs> it's just a bit of fun. Um, I love this early espresso. This is also new to my collection. I'm still very much collecting my stamping up products um, month on month, um, you know, bit, bit, bit by bit, same as everybody else. And uh, I'm really impressed with that. It's a beautiful, beautiful colour. So because I'm doing different colours using the same, same stamp, I'm going to have to clean that off using my stamp and scrub. Okay, and now I'm just going to go in with Old Olive. I'm not, um, I love coffee, but I don't like what I call fancy coffee. <laughs> you know that you're making a machine or it's filtered. I've missed stamps there, but it doesn't matter. Um, you know what we call proper coffee. I'm not a big fan, I don't still like it, um, but I love good old instant coffee. I drink that all day long. <laughs> okay. And 
one there. So although I said random, I've ended up doing a bit of a pattern out there, haven't I? I'm really not good at random. <laughs> I think my idea of random is just different colours. <laughs> Um, I'm, yeah, I'm not terribly good at random. I do apologise. Maybe you could, if you give this project a try, you could um, do random a little bit better than I can. <laughs> so now I'm just going to go in with crumb cake and just fill in some of the spaces. And I'm giving up on doing random and I'm just going to go in a line. It's just going to be a decorative band for around my cup. Okay, there we go. So my OCD is taken over there and I've ended it with a bit of a pattern but never mind. I'm just going to take my banner punch. Now I've cut my strip to two inch because I know that is the widest section in the banner punch. And I'm going to punch that end out and punch that one. Is that all the way in? Yep, yeah, there we go. Just remove those. <coughs> I'll just bob that to one side and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap that around my cup <coughs> excuse me I'm just going to reach for some quite strong adhesive um, because I don't want it to move now if you want to wrap things directly around the cup it's not going to um, sit straight if you look because the cup's shaped so you know you can figure out how to make a cup or you can go and pinch some coffee sleeves from McDonald's no don't don't say that I did that that I said that but what I, so what I've done is I've just gone with the shape of the cup rather than fighting against it I'm going with it I'm just going to join up those tails there and then if I just gently squeeze we'll end up with a a band that slopes across like so but then we'll have no gap in there okay and it, 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 it adds a fun element it doesn't have to be precise um, so I'm just going to fold that over so that I know whereabouts I want to you know put some adhesive so I'm going to use red line tape so it's nice and f nice and um, well stuck I don't want it to come undone so I'm going to add it there give that a trim <gasps> shouldn't be using these paper, these uh, snips for adhesive but never mind and then I'll remove that and then I can then um, put that around around my cup get my tails together again okay and then oh, got it upside down <laughs> I've got it upside down bear with me I've just got it upside down because I'd already pre-creased so I want it to go the way that I've creased so I put my tails together and you can see my crease there get it how I want it on the cup and then go with that crease again and press that tape there okay and then that will hold and then we've got a, a cute standing out banner there. So now we just need to decorate it. So I'll just move that to one side while I create um, the elements for that. And what we're going to do first of all is we are going to stamp out the coffee cup. So I'm going to take this and the lid okay now you can just on this one I just literally used the dies and I cut out the coloured card and I didn't stamp this time I'm going to stamp just to see what it looks like and because I want to use all of the stamps <laughs> I like using them so I'm going to line that up on this block which we really could do with a clean I think and I think we'll go for the early espresso I think it's a lovely well it's a new colour so I want to use it on everything you know um, pinks out and early espresso's in for me today so I'm going to just stamp that there and put this block to one side uh, for the it needs cleaning pile and then I'm going to do the lid I'm going to do the lid in early espresso as well I think why not Chella, Shanta, 
No, um, yes, I will. Why not? Why not? So I will stamp that there. Oh, how cute is that? And I also need to stamp... What else do I need to stamp? I need to stamp a sentiment. Um, so it's going to be this one. Life happens and coffee helps. I think. And again, I'm going to do early espresso. Let me just lift that over here. And I think I'm going to just stamp that straight onto there and then I'll die cut it out. Why not? Let's see if I can manage to get that fairly straight. It saves me cutting out a load of different pieces and I'm happy with that. That looks cute. So I'm just going to pause while I go and die cut these elements and I'll be back in a second. So my shapes are ready, now I'm going to glue them on. And I'm just going to gently um, attach this lid with just a tiny line of glue. Just on here. Come on you monkey. There we go. You don't need a lot. Just a little bit. Excuse my arms while I reach for a space of desk that doesn't already have a billion craft products on. <laughs> I think uh, I could do with an extension, but it's one of those where you, you get an extra desk space, you just fill it. <laughs> so, you know. Uh, now, I think, I, I do think, I do actually prefer my original one to this, but I do like to show how you can do things in different ways. And the reason that I like this one is because it separates the white from the colour at the back. Whereas that one, you know, I haven't, but never mind. I shall continue and I think what I will do is I think I will get my pen here and I'm going to just use my ruler and I'm just going to uh, no I don't want my end using my early espresso marker which is the the good thing about our stamping right markers is you know they're going to match up so you can't really complain and then I'm going to that one's going to have to be a bit of a curve. Um, let me just think. Let me see if I've got something that can help me <laughs> draw in an accurate curve. Here we go. I'll use my thinlet because I, you know I want it to be um, curved. I don't, if I just drew that straight, it wouldn't. It would look out of balance. So I'm just going to use the edge of my thinlet there. Okay. And just draw around that. And then I've got an accurate shape. So that's now um, distinguished my label from my cup. So I'm happy with the look of that now. I'm happy. <laughs> Everything's fine. Um, I do like these little corrugated elements as well. I'm going to add one of these. Um, I think I'm going to just add a little... Shall I have a heart or a tag? I'm not sure. I'll have a tag. I'll have a tag. Okay. Now what else I'm going to do is I'm just going to... Where's my stamp set? Here we go. Let's have a look what we could use there. Um, I quite like this high here. You may, you may notice that we've now gone into make it up as you go along mode, which is what I often do when I'm creating. I'll have an idea and then I kind of, sometimes halfway through on camera, I'm known to change my mind and go off on a bit of a, bit of a tangent on my own. <laughs> you just have to bear with me. I've decided that I want one of these on my little tags. So that's what I'm doing. So I'm stamping that in the old olive. And then I just need to go and find my smallest, teeny, weeny, weeny little circle punch, which is here, which is my half inch. And that should just nicely punch that out. And then that should fit on my corrugated element, which it does. So, sorry, 
I have kind of like gone off on one a bit there, haven't I? So add that there. Okay. That's cute. I'm happy with that. And then I want some ribbon. Now I'm following the uh, the idea in the catalogue here, and they've tied some ribbon um, to the side of the coffee cup, and I just think it looks really cute. So I am using their idea. And they have tied it with string. Well, I call it string. It's baker's twine. Sorry. String. <gasps> Shoot me. Um, so I want it like that. Um, like that. And then what they've done is they have got this, this string. <laughs> baker's twine. And wrapped it around. Like so. Okay. Trim that. Move that to one side. Let's see if we can get that tied in a knot. There we go. And that's tied in a knot, and then they've put this into a bow. <clears throat> so that's a bit fiddly, but you know, it's worth it when it's done. Get that in a bow. And then just pull each side to make it smaller if your bow's too large. Pull it to make it tight. Again, make that a bit smaller. Okay, I'm happy with that. And I'm just going to trim those off. I'm not trimming them too short because it, it adds more, more gather. And then I'm going to add that to my cup with this little tag underneath. Yes, I like that. Let me get my glue dots. Using my glue dots, I can put all this together, and I think that this embellishment alone, you can take this idea and add it to cards, you can add it to tags, you can use it in journals, you can use it in scrapbook layouts. I'm adding it to this cup, but take this idea and um, you know, add it to whatever project you're working on right now. Oh, that glue dot hasn't gone anywhere. Let's put it on the on the project and then add the ribbon that way. There we go. And then I'm going to get this little corrugate, oh gosh, that's hard to say, corrugated element. And I'm going to add, and I'm just going to attach that. Just want to lift those up and I'm going to attach that quite high up so it looks like it's tied on when in actual fact it isn't. It's a bit of a cheat. But there we go. So that's my little um, embellishment there. So I can add that to my coffee cup now with some dimensionals. Or you could use tape or you could use glue. You can use whatever you like. Uh, my dogs are yapping in the yard. I do apologise. <laughs> so I'll try and talk a bit louder so you can't hear them. <laughs> oh dear me. Remove these. So that on its own is a lovely embellishment. As I say, you can use that on your cards, tags, boxes, anything. I'm adding it to this cup here. Um, I want that there. There we go. And how cool does that look? Now we just want something attached to here. So I've made some paper clips, and these are super easy to make um, because one of the dies. One of the thinlets is this tiny little coffee cup here, look, here, there we go, and it cuts out the coffee cups in the DSP, <laughs> as you can see mine's very holy, because I've cut them all out, but it does fit exactly, and you've also got um, some little stamps that you can use on them as well, okay, so there we go. So on my sample, I made my own. I just cut out white um, cardstock and then stamped and added a little tag. And then on this one, I have cut out the DSP. 
Okay, so I've cut quite a few of these because I'm going to make a set and what I'll do is I'll pop them inside the little cup as well. So I've cut out some of the shapes in just plain cardstock and I'm, I'm layering up the DSP just to make them a bit more sturdy. Um, and another tip that you can do as well is if you're a crafter you may well use a product called um, glossy accents which can make things stand out a little bit well you can do it with your fine tip glue pen so you can like accentuate parts with the glue tip like so and you know when that dries that will be this a very similar effect to using glossy accents and you've got a very 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 precision tip there um, it doesn't get any better than that really and these really do not um, they're, they're awesome it's got a needle in there it goes in and mine's never dried up if you look after them they don't so I'm going to leave those to dry and then them hearts will stand proud then okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to attach them to uh, any old paper clip. I just got these from Staples or wherever, or whatever it's called now. And then using the three quarters of an inch circle punch, I'm going to just punch out a little, a little circle and some scrap. And if you use... I think mini dimensionals will will work. I think the bigger ones are a bit big. Yeah, we'll use the mini ones. If you use, just use a mini dimensional. Just make sure that's kind of central. Okay. Then put it in the loop. And then you should be able to just attach your coffee cup on there on that little mini dimensional and it will stay in place let me just see if it's staying in place yeah and um, you can use glue or adhesive this is a quick fix and then I'm just trimming that circle so you can't see any of it on the edge there okay just give that another press could probably have put another dimensional in there um, in fact I think I will no I can't get it undone now you maybe put two dimensionals instead of one. I think I glued, I think on this one I just used glue and I just glued it on with wet glue. So then you get your paper clip and attach it to the to the side like so. And it's just an extra embellishment. And I think that is really, really cute. I'm proper in love with those. And what I'll do is I'll finish the rest of these paper clips when that glue's dried. And I will pop these, a set of four, plus the recipient has this one as well. Um, and I'll put those inside the cup as an extra little gift. So I hope you like that. I hope you'll give it a try. That is the Coffee Cafe Sweet. Go and have some fun. Bye.